So this is a quick introduction to Inventor. I thought it might speed up the process when you get actually into the software. So this is a quick introduction to Inventor. It should speed up the process when you get into the software. There's really a three-step process for 3D modeling, and that holds true regardless of the kind of software that you use. Um, so that the first step is to sketch. So we're going to sketch the general shape of the part. Second step would be to add dimensions and constraints to that sketch. And then thirdly, we would extrude the sketch to create a solid object. So parametric modeling, which is what most 3D modeling packages use, is very different than what we did with AutoCAD. With AutoCAD, when we drew everything, we drew it to its exact size and shape. As we drew it, we dimensioned it, and that's the sizes that you established. With the parametric process, what you do is just sketch the general shape. Don't worry about the dimensions. So for example, if you want a rectangular shape, just sketch a rectangle. Secondly, you're going to add the actual dimensions, and that'll establish the true shape size of the part. Uh, and then what will happen is when you put the dimensions on there, the model is actually going to move to go to the dimensions you set for it. One of the things that's a little bit difficult to grasp initially is the concept of constraints. And constraints are simply controls you're going to put on the sketch. So those controls could be a shape control, could be a size control, or it could be a relationship control to another feature that's on the sketch. Another thing that's different about 3D modeling is we're not going to start with a drawing. What we're going to do is, first of all, make a 3D model. Then we're going to take that model and put it onto a drawing sheet. Then once it's on the drawing sheet, we'll add the dimensions and the other features to it. And in this class, I want to make sure you always use a B-sized piece of paper. Each piece of software is a little bit different in terms of how you use the mouse. When you're using Inventor, the left mouse button is when you're going to use most of the time for all your selecting of items on the menus. And also, when you're drawing on the screen, you'll click on the left mouse button. The right mouse button will, once you're in a command, if you click on the right button, it will give you additional menus about that command, typically. The middle mouse button is used to pan, so if you hold down the wheel in the middle and then move your mouse, that will move objects in the screen side to side or up and down. The scroll wheel in the middle is used to zoom in or out by rolling the wheel. Now, if you want to rotate the part once uh, when you have something on the screen, what you have to do is hold down the shift key while you hold down the middle button, which is also the scroll wheel, and then you move the mouse and that will rotate the part. To begin a new model, go to the upper left-hand corner and click on New. Before you start a model, you always want to make sure you're in the right unit. So you'll see here in this first red oval where you can choose English units, which is going to be inches, or metric unit, which is going to be millimeters. And then you're going to choose, because we're in English units, you're going to choose a standard inch IPT. Uh, inch is the unit. IPT stands for inventor part, and that's how you're going to start your part file. I'm going to show you a couple of the screens so when you get on Inventor, you'll, it'll look more familiar to you. So there's a couple of primary modes you're going to be in. Uh, there's a group of tabs across the top here. Uh, and first of all, there's going to be the sketch mode. And this is where you're going to create your sketches. You'll start with a 2D sketch and then use any of these creation tools, line, circle, arc, or rectangle, to begin your sketches. The second screen you're going to want to get very familiar with is a 3D model tab. So again, on the sketch there, uh, I'm sorry, on this tab, choose 3D model. And when you do, you'll see a different group of selections. Uh, primarily at this point, you'd be looking for either the extrude command or the revolve command. You'll see a lot of other tools in this tab, but we'll get to those later. And I would suggest you go ahead and look at some of the videos that are posted on Blackboard. Some, there's some basic introduction video, videos up to more complicated uh, tasks shown. Also, if you're looking for some other things, go onto YouTube. There's a ton of videos on YouTube that are pretty useful. Just what I would do is search for Inventor 2020.